<clears throat> hey yo, this is Dash, and I have a plethora of things in front of me. So, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in getting into catering. Here are just a few of the things that you're going to need to get started. Get ready. All right, so before I move too deep into the video, I really want to take a moment and uh, shout somebody out and say thank you. I spoke with Alton this morning. We had a good heart to heart talk and he really, you know, he made me realize that, uh, you know, I can get out there and just film something. So this is going to be my film something for this this week. And if you guys have any questions or have anything else that you want to know more about or have any other questions about any of these things that I'm going to show you now, by no means. Is this everything that I have and use when I go to a catering event, when I cater an event, when I'm cooking for my family, when I'm cooking for whomever? There are a lot of other things that you can and will need. And what you're going to need specifically is not going to be based on what I have, but it's going to be based off of what you need. Your mileage may vary. Also, while you're at it, do me a favor. Go check out Alton's channel. Alton's been a little under the weather lately, so if you could, go out to Alton's channel, check it out, and uh, give him some well wishes, I'd greatly appreciate it. So, here are things, and my, my kitchen is a strewn with things that I have here. And I'm not going to go in any particular order because I don't have a particular order here, but let's start with some of the cooking utensils. Tongs long metal tongs and short metal tongs can be used and are going to be used for different things now while i'm at it i'm going to start or i'm going to pick up the, another piece of equipment that I'm, i use to store different things and i'm going to start putting things away so that i i know that i talked about them already this next thing is a, a busboy bin if you've seen my videos for any extended period of time You've seen me use these busboy pens to busboy bins or pans. You've seen me use these busboy pans to take food to and from my smokers and from the smokers back into my house. So first things, catering tongs, done. The next thing or one of the things that I use quite regularly is a scale. Get yourself a decent scale and also because I'm holding it is a decent thermometer. This particular thermometer was gifted to me by one of you guys. Uh, this is the Mark IV Thermopen, or th what is it? Thermopen Mark IV Thermometer by Thermoworks. Now I actually have a link down in the description for Thermoworks. If you see or want anything from Thermoworks, you can go out there and it is an affiliate link. If you purchase something from Thermoworks through my link, I'll get a little bit of a kickback. But I did film a video on these pens years and years ago to say, is it worth it? I'm going to take that video and I'm going to post that video up there. The scale, because I am constantly measuring things out when worse. Uh. Just chalk that one up to cell phone interruptions. All right. Scales. I have the scale. I got the scale off of Amazon. But this scale is really good because it will allow me to weigh up to 22 pounds. There are a lot of scales out there that will go to 5 pounds, 10 pounds. This one will go to 22 so I can take a full, and we'll segue this right into this, a full catering pan. The max I will put into a full catering pan as far as weight for and what I will put into this will be... I'll put brisket, I'll put pulled pork, I'll put chicken, I'll put sides into these full pans, but I won't fill these up more than 15 pounds. So I can take this and use this, the, the scale in conjunction, and make sure that these pans are filled to the weight that I sell, that I'm selling, to say that they are that particular weight. Speaking of pans, I did actually do a video talking about containers way, way back long ago. And there are small containers. This container here is a single cup container. This container, you can get some that are, uh, this is, a, I believe, like a pint, maybe. And you can get some that are uh, quarts and half quarts. So you can use these. I use these when I'm serving or providing jus for my customers. 
between the bigger ones if someone orders a whole brisket i'll give them a whole container or mo multiple containers of jus versus some of the smaller souffle cups this is a two ounce souffle cup and this cup comes with a lid and you can use that to put sauce into again i'm more or less using it to put the jus from briskets and when i provide that to the customer i provide jus as well these are u-boats you can use these for serving so if you're serving a sandwich or whatever it is that you're going to be serving you can get these they come in different sizes they go down to like a one pound tray up to like a three or four pound tray this is a two pound tray i know i have some three pound trays as well and this is good if you have like just a decent sized sandwich you can put that in there and not to mention the pan you saw earlier was a full catering pan this is a half catering pan or half steam pan now these pans also come in different sizes this is a half shallow pan there are half deep pans which will be or can be the same depth as a full catering pan with these pans if you're using them usually we're using them as a steam pans or on a steam table you put water underneath the pan and fill that up heat up that water and it'll heat and, and keep hot holding whatever food you have here one thing you can also put ice down underneath here it does not always have to be hot holding you can put cold food macaroni salads potato salads coleslaws things like that with some ice in the bottom pan to keep your top pan food items cold gloves <laughs> everybody needs and uses gloves i get these gloves from harbor freight these gloves these are five mil nitro gloves they work best for me unfortunately with the times we're in right now these gloves have skyrocketed in price i used to be able to get a box of gloves from harbor freight on sale for five dollars per box they have gone up and were as high as 19 dollars per box the good thing is the price of gloves has come back down slightly and they are getting a little a little better I was able to get some boxes recently. They were on sale for $6 a box. I'll take $6 over $19 any day. And also, I can get the gloves. Uh, one of the reasons why I use the gloves from Harbor Freight is because I have big hands. There are some gloves out there that are one size fits most. I'm not most. So my hands don't fit in those gloves. I end up tearing through them. I can't put them on without them tearing. And these are just the best gloves i found. If you have a better source for gloves that are less expensive and more readily available, please feel free to comment down below. All right, so when you're out in an event, you're probably gonna need, and if you're selling food, you're probably gonna need signage. So here's an example of an old sign that I had just because I printed something up on paper. But if you have a price list or something like that, it's much easier to post and, and to post your cost or whatever it is that you're selling as opposed to trying to have to tell people or people just having to guess what it is you're selling one of the means or reasons that i have i have some tape here this also goes in my box of things to take with me the tape is to put up those signs or to put up signage if you have a like a canopy that goes up and you have a sign that has your business name on it or something along those lines i have and carry with me tape and also have some fishing line or I'll carry twine with me as well to help to tie up those different items. Now let's, that kind of does the housekeeping stuff. Well, one more piece, gloves. You can never have enough heat resistant gloves. If you have to touch something hot, if you need to touch your grill grates or readjust something or pick up an errant coal, these are oven mitts. Don't really use those but this tool is right here in my kitchen i do have some high temperature gloves that i carry with me and they stay out in my van so this is just some examples of some high temperature gloves that you can use all right let's talk about these things here i normally take a big box of aluminum foil this is the food service foil obviously or whenever i'm cooking i'm going to be using this this big old a container box of food service foil to cover my pans to cover things up to wrap things up while i'm cooking as well as in my production before i walk out the door one of the things too that i have here 
These are foil sheets. These foil sheets come in handy and they come in different sizes. So make sure you get the correct size for what you need for your for your application. Obviously, it's it's just a sheet. <laughs> so I can use this to wrap up a sandwich if the sandwich is small enough. Put the sandwich in the middle, fold it over, fold it over, fold it over, and boom, bingo, bango, Bob's your uncle. There you go. There's a sandwich walking out the door. And that can work in conjunction with one of those U-bolts. So you might actually also be able to just open up a sheet, put whatever food item you have on top of that foil sheet in the U-boat and then if you want to cover it up to wrap it up to make sure things don't get into it or things don't fall out of it those help too speaking of serving these things here here's some spl slotted spoons here's a solid solid spoon here's some more slotted spoons here's an ice cream scoop I've used all of these things to serve food when you are trying to serve a specific amount, like a, a repeatable size of thing, the ice cream scoop can be your friend. If you're using the ice cream scoop or something along those lines. Now these ice cream scoops have different, they have different colored handles. The different colored handles correspond to the sizes of the scoop. This, I'm trying to see if this has, it does not show the size of this particular scoop. I thought it did. No. Oh, nope. This is number 12. So I don't believe this is 12 ounces. I just think this is a number 12. But they come in different sizes and you can kind of go from there for what you're going to be using it for. Whenever I'm out and about, I always try to take plastic utensils. These can be for the folks who are going to be serving the food for you, or if you're going to be setting up a buffet line type thing, if you want to take and save and sac or excuse me, save and sacrifice your metal spoons, then you by all means feel free. But I don't like doing that, so I will take plastic spoons and utensils so that I can leave these, and they are far more cost effective than leaving metal spoons, unless it's an event that I know I'm going to be physically staying at until it's done or I'm very familiar with the person whose event it is and I can recover those items later, I will not try, I try not to leave metal spoons and or serving items there at the event. But these tongues and, and, and different spoons like that, you can get these from Sam's, I've seen them at Sam's, I've seen them at the Restaurant Depot. And then I'll be completely honest, when I get catering items or get things catered from places like Chipotle, or from Panera or other things like that along with my work my day job along with my wife or we do things around the house and I'm not cooking hundred percent I hold on to those items because I can use them for other things all right next thing a can opener this goes into my bag of kit I had an event where I had some beans and I could not open the can of beans because I didn't have a can opener. I had to get creative. So try to always have a can opener with you. Even if it's a, a junky, craptastic can opener, it'll be better than no can opener at all. Spatulas, spatulas come in handy when you are trying to get the last little bit. So let's say you are opening up a can of beans or a can of, uh, a can of baked beans or a can of string beans or some potato salad or some coleslaw or something along those lines, being able to get everything out of that container before you serve it will be a great help. Let's talk knives. Now I, hope, I have a whole video on knives. I'm gonna go ahead and post that, post a link to that video up there. Now, do you have to take knives with you? No. Do you need to take knives with you? Yes, because you never know when you might need to cut something up, cut something open, or if there's a problem and you just might need a knife to say, solve it. Now I got to cut you. So here's something that is a little odd just because I'm, I saw it and I wanted to, to bring it out and then show you guys. I got these containers from the restaurant depot and I'll use these containers in conjunction. So I have some of these containers and I have these little like wire basket type deals that I will use to put utensils in. So plastic forks, knives, spoons, other things along those lines that go with me 
just to have a place to put those things out on and they're not sitting on a table or in a box or whatever the case may be. So here's some more items that I'll take with me. A spray bottle, like a, or a bottle where you might put sauce in. I'll try to have some water in here and that'll be like close, very close in hand so that if a fire breaks out or if there's a problem, I can use this to help put out the fire. Also, make sure you have some towels with you. I normally, whenever I'm doing an event, I will try to keep one of these towels on my side or on my front to wipe hands off pretty quickly. If I use this bottle to wet my hands or to wash my hands pretty, pretty quickly, I can dry it off with one of these. They also double as, you know, being able to pick up hot, hot, hot food items. And, you know, last but not least, if it comes to it and you have to wipe your brow, <laughs> they're there for that too. Obviously, when I talked about the tongues in the beginning, I should have talked about the spatulas as well. But spatulas, and I, I normally always, always, always recommend having at least two, a primary and a backup spatula, because you never know when one is going to fall off a grill, it's going to fall off the table, and there might not necessarily be a place for you to wash any of these things. So with that being said, I always make sure that I have at least two, sometimes three, of each of the items I talked about as far as tongs, serving things, knives, the, the spatulas. I take, I always take too much stuff because the worst is being at being somewhere, not having enough of those items. One time where to save my butt or bacon basically for having or with having too many of those items is I did an event and I was, I, I catered the event and I was doing on-site service. Well, when I got there, they asked me to set up two serving stations. If I did not have enough spoons and other serving utensils, I would not have been able to set up that second serving station. Same thing with making sure that I had enough of the warming racks, the warming pans, and other things along those lines. So you definitely need to make sure that you are taking, making sure to take care and bring extra items, extra of those items, because you never know when you are going to need those things. All right, last and certainly not least in this list of things that I carry with me that are almost must have items are going to be trash bags. And I don't have it here, but paper towels. Paper towels, obviously, we all know and, and use paper towels. So take paper towels with me. I also take napkins with me just in case the person or persons who are having that event, something happens with their napkin supply or you need more whatever the case may be i bring my own just in case trash bags are another thing i try and make sure that any mess i make i clean up anything that i brought that has food waste if i have containers like i was talking about the the cans of baked beans or string beans or potato salad or coleslaw that might come in containers those things if i don't prepare them already at home and i'm pulling them out of a container because that's what the person asked for those items will go in a trash and I'll, that'll be in this trash bag and i try and take my trash with me just to not make or not have that be a burden on whoever the person's event is so whew, that was a lot <laughs> and i know if you're still here you know comment down below what's something i forgot what's something that i need to make sure i add to my list of things to carry with me now again this is not my definitive list these are some basic items just some things that you can think of or should be thinking about when you are headed off to an event thank you guys as always again for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe make sure you leave a comment down below hit that thumbs up button for me i'd greatly appreciate it feel free to come on back again make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me what it is i forgot or what i need to add to this list of things that i already carry i'll see you guys next time Oh, bottom, baby. <laughs>